and I was the president of the student body. I made him some problems with some demonstrations and strikes, and uh, I don't remember even uh, what more, but still, it was many years ago. Since then, we are good friends. Uh, all the other dignitaries uh, that arrived here today, the Schlesinger family, ladies and gentlemen, and Omer Blumenthal, of course, Eli Cohen, and that, all the others. Mish Arons is here, I didn't see him. Where is he? Very modest, like always. <laughs> Standing there behind. Please, take your seat here. Please. No, no, please come here. Misha. Don't talk to Shemesh. As you all know, the University of Ariel and I uh, get what you have just said, uh, Ron. It's very, very complicated. The university center of uh, Ariel uh, University in, in Ariel, in Samaria. Ariel University, it's much shorter. It's much well understood. And I believe that's the term that we should use, even that I know that in Israel, many wouldn't like you to use the name of the Ariel University, but here among friends, we can use uh, uh, the name of Ariel University and from now on, even when I'll be there next week for you, I think that the name we should use overseas without any uh, kind of uh, excuse that we have to give about uh, that name. The University of Ariel is doing great. And I think uh, it's uh, now more than double than the number of students that have been there in the 80s in Ben University when Professor Meyerstein and myself spent there some of our years. 11,000 students, it's a huge number that are coming from all over. I want you to know, Elda, that I'm a minister for the development of the Negev and the Galilee, but I'm a minister of regional cooperation as well, and I'm doing a lot with some of the, of the towns and the cities here in Samaria in some cooperation that we are doing uh, with, the, uh, with the Palestinians, if they agree or not, but sometimes they have some benefits of it. So we are uh, giving a contribution to those cities uh, and uh, uh, settlements. But here in the university, you know, I've uh, read before I arrived that medical physics is a unique uh, department here in Israel that does not exist in any other place. And I think it's very important to come with such kind of a department, especially while physics became very, very important, unfortunately, among our enemies. Our enemies are trying to teach them physics. They are trying to uh, develop nuclear power, especially in Iran. And these days, while we are having more physicians or more students to uh, become physicians, I think it would be very helpful for us uh, in the near future in our uh, 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 struggle against uh, our enemies. Iran is doing everything uh, it can in order to bring more uh, young people to uh, study physics, in order to have the knowledge how to develop uh, a nuclear power. But uh, until then, while we are here in Ariel, we are these days facing a real battle against the Palestinian Authority. While there is a real race between Abu Mazen and Salam Fayyad, who is going to take the lead? Salam Fayyad took very seriously the announcement that was made by Abu Mazen to resign in June 2010, and since then he's doing everything he can in order to replace him. He's not willing to uh, meet uh, Israelis, while well, he met Israelis many times in the past. He's not uh, 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 willing to have any kind of engagement with uh, Israelis, no matter who they are. And more than that, he uh, only recently burnt a big fire, took all of the Israeli products from the factories here in Samaria and uh, threw them uh, to a uh, dead fire by saying that everyone that will sell those uh, uh, products will uh, be fined and uh, about uh, maybe will be punished as well and maybe will get indicted. I think it's very, very dangerous. Well, they know that there are 25,000 Palestinians that are employed here in those uh, companies within the settlement, I think what he is doing these days is very, very dangerous, and we should stop it, and I think the sooner the better. We can't look 
on a, a, a bad a, 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 a step that the Palestinians is taking without understanding that they are trying to stifle to death uh, all uh, our activities here uh, 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 in Somalia. And it doesn't matter these days if uh, there are factories or if it's education, university or whatever. They are trying to do their best. And we have to fight, and we have to fight back. And a real university is fighting back. Well, we have so many students that are coming every day after another. Not only Jews, even non-Jews that are coming here, they are saying very clearly that the majority of the people of the State of Israel is absolutely in favor with the, uh, 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 with the settlers and with those who are living here in Judea and Samaria. And of course, they are in favor with the Ariel University. I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to uh, find out that there are so many good friends of Ariel University that are doing their best efforts to give from their money in order to help Ariel University to flourish. And I'm sure that if we will work together, finally, we will prevail against those who are trying always to fight against us. The Israeli government took a decision only recently to give the first year free of charge for the students that will go to study in the Negev and the Galilee and here in Ariel. I think it's a very, very positive signal that will bring many others to prefer to come here to Ariel. And maybe next time we'll be here, we will uh, be able to say that we don't have only 11,000, maybe even 15,000. I would like to thank you, <laughs> Professor Ahrens, Professor Meyerstein, Eldad, all the others, Ron, uh, Eli, all of the uh, Eagle that I saw before, and I don't know where is he now, but he was here. Eagle, Eagle, why you sit so far away? in the back bench. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Asa Weizmann used to say, when they asked him,